No, I mean, ultimately, again, permanence uh, is, is the ability for, for, uh, for us as a project developer um, to deliver right, on our commitments and, and on our product over time. Right? And a cook stove project, it might be five years. Um, in a reforestation project or agroforestry project, it might be 30 or, or 40 years. And <clears throat> what, we, um, what we do in the project design right, is that we, um, we need to design for, uh, for project ownership on the ground. Because ultimately, look, you know, our organization is, is based in the Netherlands. Of course, I have my local directors, I have my local team on the ground, but ultimately, uh, in any case, uh, the will uh, of uh, people, community, uh, or governments on the ground uh, will always be stronger uh, than whatever monitoring mechanism uh, I can put in place. Uh, so when we, when we get uh, the, um, those other project participants uh, to, to also own uh, the project, <coughs> uh, then we have created incentives, right, in order to, to um, to reach that project permanence. And what, what we design for uh, is, uh, is that we, we design for long-term, uh, continuous, um, uh, satisfactory um, stakeholder value for all project participants. Now, <clears throat> what I mean with that is, uh, in one project, the value might be, uh, as I said, uh, the time gained uh, that you don't have to walk so many kilometers uh, to, to go gather your firewood. That's value. Uh, value is not always expressed in, in dollars. In this case, it's expressed in hours. Uh, in another project, right, um, uh, it might be the harvest of an agroforestry system, uh, and in another project, it might, it might be something else. So uh, the value is, is unique to every, uh, to every project, and even within a project, uh, different stakeholder groups uh, could have uh, different value propositions for them. Uh, satisfactory is also really important because um, <clears throat> at the harvest of... Um, uh, of two hectares of avocados uh, might be more than satisfactory uh, in a good way uh, for a particular farmer on the ground. Uh, but uh, if we were to offer, let's say, a certain uh, percentage uh, of the carbon credits that his one acre or two acre generates, um, it might not amount to enough dollar value on an annual basis uh, for, uh, for this particular project uh, participant um, to remain compliant over time. Uh, so that, that would not work in terms of project uh, permanence. Now, the continuity is, is, also, is also really important, where we say, <clears throat> look, imagine you run a 40-year project, and um, uh, all of the value is delivered to a project participant, whether it's a farmer or, or, or a local government, let's say in year seven, yeah, uh, in a 40-year project. What is the incentive uh, in year 23, 26, and 29, uh, and beyond, uh, for, for those uh, project participants uh, to still remain compliant within the project. However, if, if value is delivered continuously on a continuous basis, uh, that incentive remains, remains there on a continuous basis. And there's many different ways how you, how you can design that. Um, yeah, and I'm happy to, to talk about that later. Um, <clears throat> and then the last thing is all project participants. So, uh, of course, we're a project developer. Um, and we have customers uh, that, that all need, also need to be uh, in that equation. Uh, they also need to get the value that they have paid for. Um, uh, of course, we have the local communities, we have local governments. Um, and all of those, uh, as, as Ben also highlighted, you, you said all of those need to be aligned uh, in the project design. Uh, and all of those need to get that value out of the project. Uh, and then you're able to establish a good project permanence.